Hi everybody, I gotta wrap this up quickly because, uh, if you can't tell, we're already doing the, uh, replay in Fortnite, and it's basically gonna be like the Predator story that we did, except for Snake Eyes. Uh, um, there's probably gonna be a few replays because we're watching the... Why does it always send me to this person? Here we go, here I am, okay. Anywho, so, you know, we like the Predator story, except for Snake Eyes, and the reason because we've been watching the new season of Blue Bloods, and uh, it doesn't start till 10, it goes to 11, I shouldn't be staying up that late, so that's why we're doing this now, hope you guys enjoy the thing, I gotta do this quickly.
And ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of our Snake Eyes short film. And it didn't count the IO guards, but also just without just player kills, he had more than Predator. So this was a good match. Uh, but counting IO guards, there was the two at the beginning and the three along the way. So that's that's thirteen kills for Snake Eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Also, just a really cool skin. I love. I don't know if I can say it enough time, but I love this skin. Also, the wrap with the assault rifle looks really co cool. I think it's a Doom wrap. But anywho, that was a good match. And of course, as always, we're going to see what's in the shop and everything else. But anywho, if you guys didn't really understand what I was saying a lot at first, because I had to speed it up, because I had to get into the story of uh, Snake Eyes and how we got into Fortnite. But I had to do it quickly because the, re the replay was going. So there's probably going to be uh, a f quite a few uh, replays uh, on Fridays from Fortnite because since, as I said, Blue Buds comes on and, and it only goes to 11, so I shouldn't really be staying up that late. So there's probably going to be a few. I'll do them when I can. Also, Flash is in Fortnite. But anywho, so I'll do the I'll do a normal video when I can here and there, but I don't know how often it's going to be. Yeah. Also, also wanna, uh, I said also, also. Uh, also I wanna point out, is actually completed that challenge twice. I did it when it was 1,500, I think I also did it when it was 2,000. Cause also, if, they, if you didn't know it from the replay, that crossbow is overpowered. It's OP, some might say. Also, I'm so close to getting Condor, I want Condor so bad. But the thing is, Pickaxe is kind of like Snake Eyes. He'll pull it from his back. Bling is really cool. Also, one is Emote. Really bad. That's not what I wanted to push. Or that. I didn't click that. The view reward is one I wanted to click. There we go. So, I want to get the skin. Connor, of course, I also want to get his Emote. Vengeful Wish, which looks really cool. So I should be able to get there, I think, because it doesn't end until March, and I'm already here, so I should be able to get to it, I think, hopefully. But anywho, uh, on to the item shop. Uh, they just, they took out all the Tron stuff that was here earlier. But we have the lovely skin, uh, a bunch of pickaxes, the Victoria Saint, the bunny wolf, and a little lion, two L's on lion, okay, whatever. The tender defender, commando, of course, we got that. That's not really into it. Tiniest violin. Ouch. Kind of hurts my ears, and we have Status Project also, which goes really well with Snake Eyes because he's a ninja, of course. My brother actually sent me that as a gift. Yeah. Oh yeah, he had the Tron stuff earlier. I really like this glider. I would spend the V-Bucks on it because I have 1,550, but as I told you all in my last Fortnite video, I want to save them for the next battle pass maybe, or if they ever put anything Clone Trooper or Hatchman Dragon in the item shop. Specifically, the Triple Strike Dragon as a glider and you hop on its back. Which would be awesome. Also, if any of you have ever seen the TV show, then you would know the character Krogan. He is a bounty hunter. He's a bounty hunter in the episode uh, Midnight Scum. He would make a great addition to Fortnite. His pickaxe is good because his weapon in the show is an axe, so that would work out fine. His glider could be his Titan Wing Singe Tail that he tops on his back, of course, like you should do with all dragons. And his skin, you could come with two styles, you'd get it, him unhooded and him hooded. He would make a great addition to Fortnite. Obviously, you got this guy. Is this supposed to be the original guy? Because I don't remember the original guy looking like I saw the newer, I saw one of the movies, and I don't remember the guy looking like that. This lady kind of represents the, how I remember the one lady. It was a very long time ago, but she kind of represents the lady I remember. And then all this stuff for Valentine's Day and everything. More Valentine's Day stuff. And then this stuff. More of this stuff. This stuff. This uh, skin killed me today. 
uh, fun fact actually, in a match, in one of the recordings I tried to do for this video, in fact. And we have all of this stuff. More of this stuff. Smoke Dragon, I kind of like it. I can't really tell if he's a guy or a girl. I think he's a guy. I'm assuming. I like the blue version. I'm not real fan of the reddish pink version, but I like the blue version. It looks really cool. Um, and then we also have Guan Yu, which looks really cool. His styles are that, and I suppose Lava Edition, I think, maybe? I don't know. Question mark? This I also like because it reminds me of Viking Ship. Well, that's a real cold glider, but as you all know, I'm saving stuff for I don't think I'm into all that again. This, I believe, is supposed to be the last air binder, which you can get in this style or that style. So I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the last air binder. We have Shifu, so I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like a Fortnite version of the lemur from Kung Fu Panda, but looks kind of cool. Uh, we also have him distracted, which this would also work for him because he's a ninja, so this would work for him too. Basically just trying to get above five chops. I don't think you ever do. We have Wukong. Looks pretty cool. I don't have the video because so I can't wait. Really one. Anyway, Firewalker. I like because obviously he looks like a dragon. I don't know if he is one, but he looks like one, so I'm calling him one. Dragon, love it. Shadow Chip I have, which also goes well with him because he's a ninja, of course. I have a bunch of ninja-like emotes, you could say. Oh, you have Tai Chi. I don't have this one. I guess if Snake Eyes ever wanted to relax, this Tai Chi would work for him. Yeah, that stuff. Disco Fever. That does not go well with ninjas, I don't think. I've never seen the G.I. Joe movies. I'm not sure if I can. Uh, all depending on what my mom says. Um, and I think that's all in the item shop right now. That's all in the item shop. Wow, he is still playing. Uh, anywho, I hope you all did enjoy this video. I know I did. I enjoyed playing it and I enjoyed recording it. I'm gonna enjoy making up the story for Snake Eyes. Hope you all enjoyed it. And... Where is it? Give me a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, it's not here, so that don't work. I will see you all next time. On the next episode of Matt's Edge, hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button because that will help on the channel and me at the same time, and I would really appreciate it. So, I'll see you all next time. Farewell.